Do you want it or need it to feel what is true? Just take it and know that what's here or here is just a lyrical pill. Some you can't taste. You're speaking the truth, Donald. Uh, now, you recently performed at an annual Juneteenth celebration. Yes. Sir. And that's where I first saw your performance yeah, yes, and your play, and I thought it was so incredible. Thank you. And now here you are on the show, Neil Soul. Thank you. Um, what other venues do you have on your schedule to uh, do your performances? Maybe the viewers would like to know. Okay. Uh, presently, tomorrow night, uh, the teenagers will be performing at uh, a youth conference in Griffin, Georgia, at the Griffin Auditorium. Uh, the uh, brother and sister duo. Uh, um, gospel artist Charles and Taylor uh, will, will, will be there and the teenagers will be uh, featured doing about 45 minutes uh, of the play because um, and that's a setting that we really like to go into because it is a youth conference so that's what I want that's what I want the viewers to 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 give us if you, if you have a youth conference that's coming up or or uh, we in, in, in um, July they'll be going to Orlando Florida doing a night youth rave where they'll be the special guest there and and they're excited about that and that's the type of setting that I want the viewers if you have that type of setting of a youth conference that's coming up I shared with night earlier uh, I, I saw on the website where um, um, Pastor um, Eddie Long is having a youth conference and I've been logging on and I've, I've, I've been calling and leaving messages because that's what I want. I, I want a setting where you have so many young people in that setting and, 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 that, and I want to be able to take the life of a teenager in there uh, to impact these young people to see what, what is really going on and that life is uh, uh, filled with choices and you just have to make the right choice and, and if you notice we named the uh, I named the juvenile detention center the Crossroad Juvenile Detention Center, and that's what I feel like. I feel like these teenagers are at the crossroad in their life, and they don't know which way to go. And so everything in the play really kind of has a, a, a reason, a, a, a meaning, and a reason behind it. But yes, tomorrow night we'll be in Griffin. Uh, in um, next month they'll be in Erie, Pennsylvania, uh, at East High School in Erie, Pennsylvania, uh, and all. Also, uh, the end of July, they'll be in Orlando, um, uh, in Orlando, Florida, at the Youth Rave. Uh, look, I can uh, tell you're not in the best of uh, moves. You know what I mean? Hey, hey look at here. Uh, you know, Black. Uh, I really uh, love you, teenagers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, let's just say that uh, the life of a teenager. I know it can be real hectic sometimes. But look, um, oh, um, Black, I got a remedy for you, you know what I mean? You know, uh, you take this right here, and uh, you just uh, roll this up, and you just tie it real tight around your arm like what? that. What are you? What are you? Hey, don't you trust me. Now you love you! you gotta trust me, baby. You get that real tight right there. And then you take this here. Yeah. Then you just insert it. Take it. Take it! Yeah. <laughs> now, now, I must say now, Seattle, life is filled with choices. You just got to make sure you make the right choice. Now I'm going to give you a little quality time so you can make your choice. All right? I'll be back a little later to check on you. <laughs> you know what? Black's right. You know what? It's my fault. Everything's just my fault. He said we got choices to make, right? So I'm going to make it.
sit here and talk to me. What's wrong? Shay, my aunt called me and told me that my mom's laying in the hospital because my dad beat her to death. Shay, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know, but killing yourself, that's not going to help. That's not going to solve anything. Who gave that to you? Black. He told me I'm making it. Black! Black. Yeah. Sierra, it doesn't matter. Come on now. If it was up to Black, we would all be dead. Hi, Sierra. Oh, man. You know what? Um, okay, I just... We got to do something that's going to make you feel better. Uh, what y'all do? That, we got to do something to make Sierra feel better. I mean... I ain't doing a matter everyone your thing feel better. Uh, Shay, hey, look at her. You know she wants you. No, Zash. shut up. She is too wrong. Sierra, um, I don't know. Come on, y'all. Let's, let's go watch some TV or something. TV. Sierra, come on. It'll take your mind off the problem. Whatever. Whatever. Come on, y'all. Let's go. Zai, you need to hush. She is wrong. She ain't stinking. Now, wait a minute now. Now, Shay. Now, looks to me like you uh, got a little more things to be worried about. That's your little uh, your physical, your test result. <laughs> I can't stand him. Me either. All right, um, what's Height, 5'3", weight, 115, condition, whatever. So, Shay, what did your physical say? Nothing I didn't already know. Such as? Such as nothing I didn't already know. Zai dropped Well, it. Shay, you say that we're your friends, so you should be able to tell us anything. What did it say? Zai, why are you being so nosy? So you really want to know, huh? Yep. You just have to know? Yep. Fine. I, um, I have AIDS. AIDS? AIDS. And you knew it? Yeah. And you didn't tell nobody? No. Girl, I knew you was watching from the start. Shut up, Zai. Mm. Besides, you wouldn't understand anyway. He's just a baby. Anyway, how were all those guys supposed to sleep with me if they, they knew I had AIDS? And Shay, you think that's fair to all them guys too? Fair? Girl, I know you ain't coming at me talking about some fair girl. Do you even know how I got AIDS? Do you, Sierra? Let me clue you in on a little something. Um, when I was eight years old, Sierra, I was molested by my own uncle. Yeah, that's right. So don't talk to me about fear. Oh, and in case you didn't realize how this little AIDS virus worked, y'all are going to die, okay? Because of my uncle, I am going to die. So don't talk to me about fear. Shay. 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 What's your reason for being up in here? Well, my father owns his own oil factory, and my mom, she has her own car lot. See, I had everything. So I was coming home from school, and I took an old lady's purse. Man, you did what? I took a purse. Hey man, you are too loud, man. You think you're stupid? Yeah. I'm gonna need to call me stupid. Better, 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 better. Hey man, y'all chill out. Me being in a place like this, let me know I'm stupid. Hey man, y'all chill out. Sit down, man. Sit down. Now, now, do do. I, I must admit, robbing an old woman is crazy. What for, man? They said that's the only way I could fit in. Well, that was wrong. I'm gonna tell you like I tell you, tell man, life is full of choices. You gotta make the right one, all right? You feel me? Whatever. Hey, Chad, you remember before um, Crossroad got overpopulated? We used to go to that team club. What is it? What is it called, oh, man? I didn't know it started with a P. Pigtails! I used to be in Pigtail, just go shop. Pigtails are script clubs. Ooh, rub, bubble, 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 shake, too. Well, what is it? Help me think! <laughs> Piggly with me! Grocery store. You fool. I got it. The palace. We used to be in the palace walking and in and walking and out. Come on, get up and show me some of the moves we used to do. Uh, Come on, man. Show me some of the moves. Hey, Come on, dude, dude. Come on, dude, dude.
You can have bread. Come on. Okay, I got something. I got something. I got something. Okay. Hey, hey, what? Well, I like that, boy. You know what I'm saying? That was a good thing. That was a good thing. Good. Job. Get you too, then. You know what, man? Man, that's like that. You get me so hot. You still do now. Me too, man. You know, I'm getting a little hot right now. I'm finna man. take off all my clothes. I am get back, getting man. so hot. I wanna get take. But you don't know me like that. Oh. What is that, man? What is what? The the bruise, man. What is that? The what? The bruise. You didn't see that, I Oh, I saw it, Tessa. You know what? I probably know how I got there. Being you, you probably was somewhere trying to be Big D from the John B. G. And so it probably happened with Tessa. Somebody probably came up on that football line and they pop you up a good couple of times, and that's how you got them swords right there on your back. Sit off, D. Woo! I shut up now. But when you let me go, I'll be talking again. I'll tell you what. Shut up. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Boy, you don't know why I'm here. You don't know what I've been through. Look at these man, I never forget it. A couple years back, it was me, my mom, and my dad. I just got back from one of my football games. In the drunk driver pool, Dr. D. He does hell on. You know what? Kill my parents instantly. You know what else? My uncle had to take over my life. And that fool was jealous of me. I never forget it, man. I remember one month, he beat me 18 nights in a row. But I never forget. On that 19 night, Kadi, I had my bad way for him. Now beat, now beat that fool, Kadi. Kadi, man, you don't know what it feel like almost. Kill your own family member. But you just don't know what I. You know what, Ted? You're right. I don't know how it feels like to kill a family member. But I sure know how it feels to be hurt. Hey, man. Save me, alright? But, Ted, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, Ted. Ted, um, there's, there's something you should, you should know. Come on, last night, baby. No, no, Ted. Ted, look here, just, just read this, okay? Look, I'm, Ted, I'm sorry, just, just read it. I'm, I'm sorry, Ted. All right, girl. Young blood, young blood. I saw Shay running down the hallway. And I take it you finally got those test results. Now I don't know what you're thinking, young blood. Now how can a man like me walk around here in this juvenile detention center with such a deadly disease? Well, you know what? The saying goes. You gotta be careful what you lay down with, Taz. Because you just might get up with something. Because <laughs> everything that look good to you, baby boy, it ain't good for you. But you know what? I sympathize with you, man. The life of a teenager. But sometimes you got to take matters into your own hands, Taz. So look here. Right here, Taz. I'm giving you an alternative. There you go, Tess.
Now remember, life is filled with choices. You just got to make sure you make the right choice. <laughs> no way. Might as well kill myself. You right, you right. I can't live like this. You right. But you know what? I ain't gonna try to kill myself. I'm gonna try to kill you, fool. You what? Come on, Ted. Put the gun down, man. Don't do this. Think about what you're doing, Ted. this man, man. Ted, put the gun down, man. Shut up. He just don't know. Put the gun down, what man. You doing, work, man. Don't Shut do up, this man. to yourself, Ted. Put the gun down. Hello, Neo Soul. All it's right. Cassie Davis. Neo Soul, spoken word, variety show, doing it with your boy G Garb. Turn up the heat style one more time in the AT Izzle Bizzle. Hey, I'm Tashina Arnold. You're watching Neo Soul. I must notice I do enjoy the shirt that you are wearing, <laughs> Life of a Teenager. And there it is. At the various places that you attend, are people able to get these t-shirts? Yes, yes. And are they able to um, uh, get a um, DVD? Are you DVD accessible? We, or is that in the makings? Because, I mean, once yeah. people see this play, they tell people about it. Maybe I can't get to a certain venue. Are you looking yes, to eventually be DVD ready? Yes, ma'am. Uh, as far as the t-shirt is concerned, yes. Uh, it says the yes. life of a teenager. And it basically is the oh, cross. Yeah. And the cross it hits has, right on there. Yeah, it actually, you know, says, you know, um, where they, uh, their, their future, uh, their, their, you know, backwards, left, right. You know what I'm saying? So it basically, and then it just simply says that they are at the crossroad of life. Which way? Will they go? Which way will they, which go? Way will they go? And that's a that's a very uh, a, a, a deep thought. Which way? Wh which way would your would your child, your son, or your daughter? Which way would they go? They're at a crossroad. So yes, the shirts can be uh, basically gotten whenever we perform. We do uh, have the T-shirts in white and in black, and it's, uh, I'm sorry, white and red. And as far as the DVD, yes, we've had so many people uh, to to access in reference of um, of the DVD. So um, basically. We, we're in the process of doing that and, and we just we just really feel because one thing I just feel that uh, doors are going to be open because we're, we're doing I have a very serious passion for these young people and, and, and they always say is that the man above looks at your heart and he measures your heart and I just feel that because of the heart that I have that the measures and, and, and the extent of this play is going to be um, I mean beyond and over. You know, it's funny you say that because I truly see the passion that you do have and I know it's going to make a great impact. At the same time, I just had an idea. Um, maybe we, Eddie, hope you're listening, right. should send Mr. Eddie Long a DVD. You know, whether it's a snippet or whatever, so maybe that may reach him a little better than, you know, the emails. Maybe he's not getting those, but, you know, if we go to church and possibly hand him one or, you know, what have you, because I do see what you're doing is so, so, so phenomenal. And I know you get a lot of criticism over certain things, but I need to know, do you also get a lot of praise and people telling you you changed their lives? I need to yeah, know about yeah, that. Yes, ma'am. And I, I can, uh, we have one, uh, we have one situation uh, about three months ago we they were in Orlando Florida and this is actually where they got the invitation to go back and we were at um, a church uh, pastor Willie Johnson and they had so many young people at the end of the play they gave the altar call and when I stopped counting Maurice uh, and Knight it was 50 teenagers on that altar of all race I mean tears just flowing and they just said that they could they could identify with with uh, something in the play Yes. Well, there's definitely something in the play that we all can relate with. I know, Mr. Maurice, you want to say something? Yeah, now, we talked about uh, the DVD. Now, as far as the web, if there's not a website, what website may be coming soon? Maybe you have a web domain that we can start looking out for? Well, basically, uh, we're in the process of, uh, uh, of talking. We talked earlier about that. So um, we just, just keep, keep us posted, and we'll keep you posted definitely on a website that's, that's to come. Okay. Well, that web's coming soon. That's been our time. We'll be back. Put down your remote control. You are now watching Neo Soul. My name is Shanika Gay. 
I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm the creative specialist this evening at East Space Gallery. This medium here is oil and acrylic. Uh, I work in oils, acrylics. Uh, I mostly paint on wood, very rarely paint on canvas. Um, my inspiration is just the style. I love Southern women. I have a lot of strong Southern women in my family, and basically my paintings are about those women and their relationships, which includes me and the things that inspire me. Um, just homegrown Southern hospitality, um, tea parties, butterscotch, uh, playing in red clay, just all that good stuff about being Southern and being from the South, especially um, being a Georgian. I actually discovered color. <laughs> I'm uh, originally a realist, so I mostly worked in pencil and charcoal. And so just haphazardly, I just decided to paint. And once I discovered paint and the use of colors, it was just awesome for me. I didn't, I didn't want to put it down. And so um, the vibrance of color is just a part of me now, and I love it. it. It makes me happy. It gives me joy. And I think it does the same for the buyers and the people who are um, interacting with the work. You can definitely um, reach me at Space Gallery, which is where we are, usefacegallery.com, and or you can email me, ShaniquaGayArt at AOL.com and also my MySpace page, which is myspace.com backslash Shaniqua Gay Art. Oh my gosh, it just represents peace. You know, just, um, it just represented solitude to me. And I think we all look for a place of peace or a place of solitude. And initially my peace is somewhere on the Ivory Coast, the Kukaboo. <laughs> And um, that's, just, that's just me over in the Ivory Coast, just chilling. Um, that, that just represents peace to me. It represents solitude. And I, I love it. I just love it. See him in the red tea? He's the love of my life. He doesn't know it yet. Oh, hi. I'm Mia. This is my best friend, Flo. We work at the library. And here's my friend, Indy. They keep me grounded. I spend all day around books. I love books. And one day, I'm going to have a book on these shelves. But meanwhile, I live for lunch, and for lunch, I live. I have been digging you for so long, and I think it's about time you let me be the ball in your court. See that? Phenomenal. That's my baby's daddy. Oh, I'm about to put him on my honeydew list. Ooh, it's been a long time since I had a young, fine tenderoni like that. Ooh, look at him shooting them hoops, girl. 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 You know what the good book says train up a child. There is nothing juvenile but that beautiful specimen of a man over there. How do you think he is anyway? I know he's got to be legal, at least 21 or 22. At least. Do you think... Mm. Look, Mia, I don't even want to hear that. You are a beautiful young woman. Don't worry about age. Age ain't nothing but a number. Mm -hmm. And the present is the present. He would be a nice present. Oh, he would be a nice present. Well, oh, he would be a nice present. Right, well, and make sure she doesn't put him under her tree. I know that's right. Tell her, Indy. She know me. He <laughs> would be a nice present. And I love her and I know her. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to approach that. Go on and I do am. it, sister. I love her, but I know she left him on the hand. <laughs> well, get on up, girl. I'll take care of your business. You know what? I'm going to do it. Oh, oh my gosh, you're coming, you're coming, you're coming. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. We got to help her, girl, because you know she's going to start but all that. What I'm saying is, I can't do it. I can't do it. Go, on, girl. Remember to breathe. Breathe. Go, go. Go. Let me get my sexy walk on. My girl. This is just a regular person. We all breathe the same air. Okay, okay. I'm going to poison your head. What the hell about what? 
20, 25? 25 points. Yeah, I taught you well. Hey, wow. How you doing? You're really nice up there. I'm Leah. What's your name? Hey, how you doing? My name is Seth. Hi, Seth. How this are you? This is my little brother, Stephen. Stephen, say hello. Say hello. Hello. Hello, Stephen. Hello, Stephen. Stephen doesn't look so little to me. He's autistic. Oh, uh, what? Autistic. Well, uh, he has some art skills going on. I mean, I mean you know. echo lay. Oh, yeah. I was checking out where he's laying up them shots, you know. Is that what they call it? But echo? Actually, echo lay. You mean like a painter or something? Well, it's like to repeat everything you say every time you talk, and it's like it's kind of like a tape recorder. Tape recorder. Well, we mean like he's special. Yeah, it's artistic. Oh, well, he let me see. So let me see, bro. I mean, I seen him on the basketball court, and he didn't look all echo to me. Well, you know, if he's pretty normal, you know, on the basketball court, you would never know. You know, as, as a matter of fact, he's pretty dominant. You know, but the only time you can tell is when he does his little happy dance. Happy dance, happy dance, happy, happy, happy dance, happy dance. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm rather embarrassed. Uh, I didn't know. That's beautiful what you're doing. That's a very, very beautiful thing. You know. Well, thank you very it much. It was really nice meeting you guys. You guys are. Uh, Stephen, shake your hand. Shake your hand. Bye, Stephen. It was nice Bye, meeting Steven. you. My girls are gonna love this. You guys, take care. Man. <laughs> They be coming at you left and right, young and old, all age groups. You ain't even got a clue. Clue. <laughs> Wish I had half of what you had. I'd be all right. All right. Yeah, all right. Let's get on out of here, man. Let's take you home. Get you some pictures. Terrence Jackson coming to you from U Space Gallery, um, the premier gallery in Atlanta that always features amazing artwork which is accessible to the masses. Thank you. You can always reach us at www.uspacegallery.com. We're located at 439 Edgewood Avenue Southeast, directly behind the Martin Luther King Historic District. Well, this is Glenn Terman, and, and you're watching Neo Soul. Remember, you're watching Neo Soul. Tune in next week. Some you can't taste.